Breaking. Tinubu orders Nigerian police to secure council secretariats in River State. Ask Governor Fubara orders to exercise caution. Now to the news in full. Nigeria's President Bola Tinubu has weighed in on the crisis rocking River State. He urged for restraints while calling on the police to secure local government offices in the state. Will the police actually secure the local government? Because they are working for the oppressor, they are working for Wiki. At least their IGPD, Egberto Kwan, is working for Wiki. So are they really going to do that job that Tinobu is telling them to do right now? Or they are going to disobey his order because they are always disobeying? This was communicated in a statement signed by a special advisor on information and strategy by or on another. President Bola Tinobu has called on Governor Simina Lai Fubara political leaders and their supporters in River State to exercise restraint and uphold the rule of law. The statement read in part. In response to recent tensions following last Saturday's local government council election, the president expressed deep concern over reports of arson and gas explosion in the state and explosions in the state. He urged all political actors to de-escalate the situations and discourage their supporters from engaging in violence and destructive action. It was also noted that police has been directed to maintain law and order in the state. President Tinubu directed the police to restore and maintain peace, law and order immediately, while instructing law enforcement agencies to bring the situation under control he emphasized the need to ensure the security of public institutions. President Tinubu said, government facilities built with public funds must be safeguarded from vandalism. The president also noted that anyone who had issues with the conduct of election should approach the judiciary. Yes, if you have an issue, go to court. He stressed that self-help has no place in a democratic system especially after 25 years of continuous democracy. I doubt if we are in a democratic station, nation, Shah, because this is not democracy to me. According to President Tinobu, the judiciary can settle all political disputes, and the outcome of this election should be no exception. Sahara reporters had earlier reported that there had been violence across local government areas in the state. Just before the president's statement, Hoodlum burned the query local government secretariat in River State. Can you imagine that? In the query local government, located in Isipo, the office of the chairman was also set ablaze by thugs protesting the legitimacy of Saturday's LGA election. Can you see the corruption that we are talking about? Okay, you are not okay with the election that took place. You are not okay with the results. What is the same thing to do? Go to court, apply, and say, okay, we are not contented with the election results. We are here to contest it. Do that. Why would you go and burn the local government secretariat? Why? With the public funds that they used to build it, they will still try to say they want to build it back, and they will still eat our money again. Why set ablaze the secretariat? Why? Aside Equerry, LMA, and Emoha local government, secretariats were also affected. Reports indicated that the armed hoodlums masquerading as political thugs. It, this is not a, an issue of masquerading. They are, not harm, they are not hoodlums, they are actually political thugs. That is exactly what they are. Because if, if they are not political thugs, they will not go and burn, burn the secretariats just for nothing. Why would they just go to the secretariat and burn it if they are not inspired by, by politics? If it is not inspired by politics, if it is not because the party that wanted to enter did not enter, if it is not, if it is not because WK is not okay with the election that took place, they are political thugs. This is not armed hoodlums masquerading as political thugs. They stormed the council headquarters shortly after the police withdrew their personnel. Mm -hmm. The hoodlums vandalized properties and set buildings ablaze 
to prevent the newly elected chairman from taking over the councils. Can you imagine? The political unrest has widened as political thugs loyal to Wiki has set both LMA and Equally Council headquarters ablaze. The attacks reportedly happened around 11 a.m. on Monday, with the LMA local government area being one of the first hits as thugs set apart parts of the Secretariat on fire, vowing to prevent the newly sworn in chairman from accessing the office. Can you see what is going on in a country that has a president? See what is going on. Burning secretary because you don't want the LD chairman to take their office. If you have an issue, why not just go about it the right way? Go to court and let your case be heard. Bring your evidence, bring everything that you think will help you to make you win your case. But no, you rather the sort of violence. You rather go and destroy properties. You rather go and burn, burn the secretariat just to show that you are angry, just to show that you are not happy with the election. It's really a shame. Harris Odea says, Ricky was among those that rigged a due election. So this is politics. You should understand it. It is a pity that he has lost his structure and now belongs to Fubara. As a matter of fact, he is a minister. What concerns him will reverse this structure, if not greed and wickedness. As it stands now, Tinubu will rather dialogue with Fubara more than Wiki. It is simple as that, yes. Because Fubara has the tendency to help him in 2027 election, even though we don't want him to run again for presidency, but notwithstanding, Fubara has more mouth than Wiki right now as it stands, because Wiki is no longer the, the governor. He does, his structure is no longer working. He doesn't have a hold against them in River State again, and that is what is getting him angry. He also helped them to win a due election. So, you should face it if you try to win election and it didn't work for you. You try again next time. You don't have to resort to Resort to violence. Isa Muhammad said they have elected council chairman. Police should protect them, but not deny them entry. Police is also working for weak case people, so it's a it's a case of 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 what how do I put it now? They are fighting for wiki, so police will not protect the people that they are supposed to protect because their person is not in power. Wiki is causing damage to Tinubu's administration internally, but time shall tell. Imam Ali says he should call his minister to order. Rivers has only one governor, and it is not Wiki. Yes, the president should call his minister to order. If you really have a mouth, if you really say you are the president, and you have authority over your ministers and the people under your cabinet, you should be, you should be able to call Wiki to order and tell him to stop whatever it is that he is doing in River State. My listener, over to you. Kindly leave your thoughts in the comment section. Do not forget to like, to share, and subscribe. Thank you for listening. See you.